Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, I will demonstrate you how to do overtime in Primavera. According to Primavera calculation, the standard price of resource multiplies overtime factor gives you overtime price. So using this equation, you need to find the overtime factor. So we'll see an example. So this is Miss Hannah. She is getting a salary of $100 per day. So according to my calendar, one day is 8 hours. So that means she is getting $12.5 per hour. So this is called as the standard price. And if she works more than 8 hours in the company, she will be getting paid $25 per hour as overtime price. So this is called as overtime price. So according to Primavera calculation, now you can calculate the overtime which is equal to overtime price divided by standard price that gives you 2. So you need to set overtime factor as 2 for the resource Miss Hannah. And if she works for an activity of 5 days, this is an activity, day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days activity, she will be getting $100 per day. So that makes $500. And if she works 2 hours of overtime, she will be getting $50 because according to company rule, $25 need to be paid for overtime hours. So as she is working 2 hours, she will be getting $50 per day. So every day she is working an overtime of 2 hours, so that makes $250. So overtime cost is $250. So the total cost of this activity becomes $750. So when you enter these values in Primavera, the first thing you have to do is you need to update the project, then you need to enter actual overtime units. So how you calculate actual overtime units? 2 hours per day, that is overtime, multiplies number of days she worked overtime. So that is 5 days, that makes 10. This value is called as actual overtime units. If you set the unit format as hours, then you need to enter 10. In some project, they might have set the unit format as days. So in such cases, you need to divide 10 divided by 8. So that makes 1.25 as actual overtime units. So we will see how to do these things in Primavera. So let's open the software. So here is the project overtime example project. So I will open it. Right click open project. You can create an activity. You can call this activity as drafting, which is a 5 days activity. Now we will go to resource. So before you create the resource Miss Hannah, you need to check user preferences. Go to edit, user preferences, set the unit format. So I told you in the slides that if unit format is set to hours, you need to enter 10. If unit format is set to days, then you need to enter 1.25 according to our calculations. So here I'm going to change unit format as hours. Then afterwards we will change it to days. Then close it. Then create a new resource. You can name it as Miss Hannah. And she's working 8 hours per day. And the standard price is 12.5 per hour. So I took these values according to our example. Here you can see she is getting 12.5 per hour. After setting maximum units and price per unit, you can go to details tab. You can say overtime is allowed and you need to enter the overtime factor. So I have already told you how to calculate the overtime factor that is overtime price divided by standard price. In our example overtime price is $25 means if she works more than 8 hours she will be getting $25 per each hours. So that is 25 and you need to divide it by standard price that is 12.5 that makes 2 is the overtime factor. So you can enter the overtime factors as 2 
after that you can go to activities you can assign the resource to the activity so you can add resource you can assign miss hannah you can close it so miss hannah is working eight hours per day so that makes 40 units so the total cost becomes five hundred dollars so here is five hundred dollars hundred per day that makes five hundred dollars now let's say we have started this activity so let's go to status you can say it is started so it is started on 31st december now let's say this activity has completed on 5th january 2016 so you can say finished you can go to schedule and say it is finished on 5th Jan 2016 5 p.m. Now schedule it. So this activity is completed. Now the program has calculated the actual labor cost as 500 but we didn't consider the overtime cost here. So you can go to resources. You can add columns like actual overtime cost, overtime factor and actual overtime units. Now when you come to actual overtime units here you need to enter how many units miss hannah has worked as overtime so here in user preferences i have set it to hours so i can calculate miss hannah worked two hours daily for five days so that makes two times five ten so i will enter actual overtime units as ten now you can see the program has calculated the actual labor cost as 750 so 750 you can see the total cost 750 the program has also calculated the same as 750 you can see in the resource window the actual overtime cost program has calculated as 250 dollars right so in the slide i told you you can enter actual overtime units as 10 if unit format is set to hours now you see what happens when I change user preferences unit format to days so when I change it to day you can see actual overtime units recalculate it to 1.25 so this is the calculation 10 divided by it is an 8 hour calendar so 10 divided by 8 makes 1.25 so this is how program calculate the overtime so in your project if you want to add the overtime you can do in this way so hope you understand this session and thanks for watching